Hello, this is David from the tech support team here at Alad Tech, and in this video we're going to be talking about some member functionality here in regards to my schedule. Now on a lot of your services here, your instructions will be right here on your home page, and we're going to walk through the different ways that members can manage their own schedule here. My schedule link is located under the work schedule here, and go to my schedule. Now, logged in as Dave Anderson here, we're looking at the current month on the My Schedule, and absolutely everything a member would need to do can be done from this screen. They can see all their scheduled time information. They can look at the legend over here on the left and see time off, request and accept trades, see open shifts, and all sorts of other information, events, availability, and these items can all be toggled on and off as needed to customize it for your own viewing purposes that wouldn't affect anybody else's view of the system. You can certainly jump to another month or year if you like or scroll back and forth between months using the arrows here. And you can see your scheduled times here listed in blue. These are the shifts that you're scheduled to work. Uh, you'll see some events here that are listed, such as a staff meeting here today and a football game that's scheduled on, on the 15th there. Now, if you want to see any open shifts that are available for signups, you would just click on the purple open shifts and it will expand out and show you all the schedules and shifts that are available for Dave uh, for signup purposes. So if Dave looks ahead and sees that there's a shift available here tomorrow and he's not normally working, uh, but he decides that he can be on shift, you would just cl simply click on the shift that he would wish to sign up for. Maybe adjust the times if need be, if it's just for half a shift or full shift, if that's available, and sign up. You'll notice here that it prompts a uh, work limit, uh, just warning them that they're be scheduled for more than 60 hours within a week and it does require an extra level of approval and that's fine. And this kicks out a notification to your admins letting them know that that sign up is now pending approval. You'll see a little green A indicator show up on that shift for Dave on his schedule letting him know that it's still pending approval. He's not on shift yet until the admin take action, takes action on that particular request and approves or denies it. This is also where members will go if your admins send out what we call a find coverage alert, letting them know that there's a shift available in the future and they're looking for volunteers to sign up for it. The link from that notification would take the member back to this screen. They would click on the open shifts and find the open shift in question and sign up for it if they wish to work. Conversely, if they want to take off a shift, there's a couple of options they can go through here, such as time off or a trade. So let's go in the future here, and Dave says, I would like to request off the 19th. He would click on his shift for that day and have the options to request a, day, a trade or request time off. He can add a note to the admin, maybe stating as to the reason why he's asking for time off. It lists the scheduled time that he would be originally scheduled to work, and if that needed to be adjusted, you could adjust the times there. You choose what type of time off. These are decided by your admins and your settings of the different categories of paid time off. And you'll notice some of these are listed as accrued, which means that the system is tracking how many hours Dave has in his bucket of time for vacation time, say. And if we choose that category, you'll see that he has 40 hours of accrued vacation. This request is gonna take up 24 hours of that time, and he'll be left with 16 once it's been approved. One example of a warning would be maybe personal time here where it shows him he only has four hours of personal time and that will put him in the hole and it shows up as a bold and red and negative there as a warning for Dave and for the admin in case uh, that's not going to be possible and then it, it, it could be denied that request. But let's give him the benefit of the doubt and that he has a bit of vacation and request that time off. And then again, in orange, it tags the day with a little A, sending a note to the admin, letting them know that there's now a PTO request out there waiting for approval. You'll see Dave is still on schedule to work until that action is taken on that particular vacation time, and he will receive a notification once that happens, if he so cho chose within his member profile to get that notification. Another type of request to time off is a, called a trade. So let's go ahead to the 25th here and request a trade. There are two types of trades within the system that may be allowed by your admins. One is a giveaway, which means exactly that, that they're giving away their shift. It's a one-way trade for somebody to pick it up. The other 
trade is called a swap, which would mean they need a trade in return for the one that they're offering, a one-for-one -one trade with another member. That'll involve a couple extra steps because, of course, both parties have to agree upon what shifts they're willing to trade. So what happens when Dave sends out this trade request, he may want to add a note to the admins or notes to the recipients, is it's going to send out the notification to all the list of these recipients that are qualified to and have a shift available to swap back with Dave for that shift on the 25th here. There may be other restrictions in place set by your admins, uh, and they can be as liberal or open-ended or restricted as need be for your trades. Maybe it has to be an EMT for an EMT or Rocky Road for Rocky Road, or it has to trade back within a certain length of time and so forth. But again, that's going to go out to the list of recipients here that are qualified. And if you want to see that list of names, you can hit the change link here. You'll see the list of names that it's going to go out to all selected. They'll all get notified. And then these members will then look at their own schedules and the system itself will generate a nice list of shifts that they can choose from to offer back to Dave in order to trade him for his October 25th. So basically Dave is, ba is waiting for the offers to come back to him from any number of people. He's waiting for offers for the other end of the trade. And once he sees those offers, Dave would then accept one of those shifts. Now both parties have then accepted what shifts they're willing to trade, and then it would go to an admin for approval. And at that point, once the admin approves that trade, then their shifts would automatically swap on the calendar and it would be indicated as such. Now there may be the case where Dave has just uh, already had a verbal conversation with Paul and they've already agreed upon what dates they're willing to trade and now we, they just need to put it in the system that way and Dave comes in and can actually individually choose Paul's name from this list or hold down your command key or control key to choose individual names and only then Paul would be notified of this trade and nobody else has to be involved. But if you were looking for a name that was on this list and it wasn't there, there may be, a, like I said, a, a number of rules that would prevent a, a member from trading a shift. They'd be listed down here in the ineligible recipients and you could view those as well. And you can see the list of reasons by everybody's name here. They don't have a valid shift to swap or perhaps they don't have permission to work that particular shift in question and so forth. And you can see here that uh, they are going to be still scheduled to work their regular shift until that trade has been fully approved and they get the email confirming that transfer. Members can submit their availability. You can find the other help video on how to set that information by just hovering over any of the dates and adding your availability or even submitting time off for a day that you don't necessarily are, are working that day on an actual shift. You can submit time off for a day for a shift that's not there. You can print your schedule here using the printer icon in the upper right. You can sync your calendar. Any member can sync this information on their work calendar to their own personal calendar on an outside application, such as Google or Outlook or iCal on the app on the iPhone. You would just follow beyond this link and configure it to exactly what you want to feed over. Let's say you don't want to see all the other things, just events and scheduled time and time off and maybe trades. Then you would subscribe and there's a tab for each application here and this basically goes through and says you just need to take this web address here and copy paste it into that outside application as a new subscribed calendar following the steps for each individual application to that outside app. So there you have it, the My Schedule functions for your members. Any questions, please feel free to call us or email. Thank you for listening.